This is a very somber moment outside of Selland Arena today. You can see just hundreds of law enforcement agencies from across the state pour into the convention center. They're all here to honor the life of Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. And let's take a look at how we got to this point. On January 31st, tragedy struck the small city of Selma as the police chief got the worst call a department can receive. Officer down. Police officer, we lost a great human being. Just before noon, investigators say a neighbor on the 2600 block of Pine flagged down on Carrasco Jr., a two year veteran with Selma police who wanted to be an officer ever since he was a child. He became a police explorer with the city of Reedley, then came over to the city of Selma, was a volunteer in policing. Beyond that, he became a reserve police officer with the city of Selma. And then in 2021, he accomplished his dream of becoming a police officer with the Selma Police Department. As Carrasco went up to the suspect, 23-year-old Nathaniel Dixon, officials say Dixon shot at him, robbing the young officer of his dream in the department of an officer. As a police chief uh, leading uh, those people that, that are, are tasked with providing a safe environment for our community members, um, this, is, this is the worst case scenario for a chief and for a leader. Officials say Dixon, a known gang member and a convicted felon, took off after the shooting, locking down nearby Eric White Elementary School. Suspect ran southbound on Mitchell with a black pack. Stand by for more. Surveillance video shows Dixon walking down the sidewalk. Another security camera a couple blocks down shows Dixon once again. This time, deputies close in and Dixon backs up with his hands behind his head. Officials say the gun was found discarded nearby, which Fresno County Sheriff John Zanoni described as an unmarked ghost gun. Was not legally purchased, was purchased in parts, having no serialized numbers. That he could parts that he could order to his house, put together, go out into our community and commit these acts of violence. Carrasco Jr. was rushed to the hospital but couldn't be saved, sending shock waves throughout the Central Valley. Gary hearing something like that happen so close to home. I knew of him growing up because he was an explorer when I first started. In the days following, the heartbroken South Valley community came together. In Carrasco Jr.'s hometown of Reedley, community members released white balloons from the soccer field he once played on as a child. I think everybody that really knew him knew that he was the life of the party. Uh, people really gravitated towards him and he always brought a smile to people's faces. In Selma, police cruisers lit up the night sky as people dropped off candles and flowers in honor of the fallen officer. I can sleep. Mandeep Singh knew Carrasco Jr. personally. He could not hold back tears thinking of the officer's girlfriend pregnant with their first child. Hearing like a, he was about to become a father. You know, like, uh, that's a horrible thing. Whether it was coffee with the cop, a taco cookout, a basketball matchup, or through Valentine's Day flower deliveries. Over the next two weeks, several organizations raised funds for the family and the infant. People, I think, are responding in an unprecedented way, which is support, love, understanding, and just so many prayers and so much of an outreach. At Eric White Elementary, teachers wore Selma Strong t-shirts as students thanked Selma police for keeping them safe with hundreds of handwritten letters. Fifth grade student Noah Rodriguez gifted the chief a self-made portrait of Officer Carrasco. He wanted everyone to feel safe and secure and he protected us and uh, everyone around us. Yeah, it's just sad and um, I wanted them to know like um, he was, he's going to be remembered by everyone. And as the community continues to grieve, questions swirled over the suspect. Dixon is behind bars at the Fresno County Jail on first degree murder and several other charges, including a special circumstance of murdering a police officer. Soon after his arrest, news broke of Dixon's troubled past, including a 2019 conviction of robbery and seven several felony drug and gun charges from 2020 that put him behind bars for almost two years. Because of a plea deal, time credits, and several state laws like AB 109 and $0 bail, Dixon was released in April of 2022.
Dixon is being held without bail and will be back in court on February 23rd. If convicted of the charges against him, he faces the death penalty or life in prison without the possibility of parole. Last night in Selma at St. Joseph's Church, there was a viewing to lay Carrasco to rest. And this morning in downtown Fresno, thousands are expected to gather at Selland Arena to say their final goodbyes before the officer is laid to rest later in the day in Reedley.